Hello, math friends. This is Mrs. Halbig here, and I just wanted to share with you an excellent poem and some math activities that you can do with this poem. The poem I'm going to read comes from the book A Stick is an Excellent Thing by Marilyn Singer. A stick is an excellent thing if you find the perfect one. It's a scepter for a king. A stick is an excellent thing. It's a magic wand. It's yours to fling, to strum a fence, to draw the sun. A stick is an excellent thing if you find the perfect one. We were really inspired after reading this poem to find sticks in our yard. So we went out hunting and found a big collection of sticks. The first thing we wondered was how many sticks were in our collection? We decided we would count our sticks. So this is what our collection of sticks looks like. We had a little extra string laying around the house. So we decided to bundle up groups of 10 in our collection of sticks. So you can see we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 sticks in our collection. Next, we said, all these sticks, they look pretty different. I wonder what some certain ways we can sort them are. So we noticed that some of the sticks were curvy. They kind of bent a little bit. And some of the sticks were nice and straight. There was a lot of different ways that we sorted our sticks into different groups. Another thing we did with our sticks is we put them in order from the smallest stick we found all the way up to the largest. This was a little bit tricky because of those curvy sticks. So you might have something at your house you can use to help measure those sticks and really see if we have them in the right order. Next, we decided to use our sticks to play tic-tac-toe. We needed some rocks to help us for the O's, and we used some sticks for the X's. We were having so much fun playing tic-tac-toe, we decided to use our other sticks to help us keep track of how many games we won. So we were making tally marks with our other sticks to keep track of our games. And we tried to create different numbers with our sticks. We also worked on creating different letters. This is the number 45. We were playing around with some numbers that we could make with our sticks. And lastly, we wanted to make a picture out of sticks. So we decided to make a little house um, out of the sticks that we had. So my question for you is, what can you do with a pile of sticks? Go out in your yard, find some sticks and see what you can do. Have fun.